How are you? So everybody knows how to draw basic shapes, right? So here's like a square. And everybody can draw a square. But today we're going to teach you how to draw squares, but with a volume that comes off the page. We're going to make a cube. To make a cube, you want to start by choosing every corner and make little, well, I would say like little legs, like a table. The table has four legs. Here's one. Here's another. And one more right here. Now, after you've done that, you need to repeat this line on the other side here. This is like this volume. So these are like mirrored image. Pull it down right here. Finish this line off like that. And then you want to do, repeat this line here too on the other side. Just like this. All right, now that's done. You can make any shape you like in the same fashion. So be it triangles or circles. As long as you repeat those lines, you can do exactly the same thing. Allow volume. You give volume to your shapes. So let's try with another shape. Let's try with a triangle, okay? Here we go. Our first line, second line, third line. Then we want to draw those little table legs again. So one on this corner and one here. Now we can't see the other one, but that's okay. You know, remember these corners are important. We'll draw this line down here, and there you go. You've got your little triangular shape. Looks like it's coming off the page a little bit, right? There's volume to it. Try with a cylinder too. We're going to make a circle, just a round circle, and then we pull the lines down on either side like that. And then make the same shape at the bottom. There you go. We have a cylinder. It looks like it comes off the, the table. And with a little bit of shading here, we can make it even look more 3D, look more, vol well, give it more volume. A little bit darker on this side. You can take your time doing this. You don't have to rush it or anything. These are just little sketches, you know, to get you warmed up. Did the same thing here on the cylinder. On the cylinder, there's like a gradient, so you go darker here, and as you move along, you make it lighter and lighter, less pressure on your pencil. You can put a bit darker line over here, just like that. There you go, round that out a little bit more. A little bit darker here, yeah. Like, looks like there's a little bit of a reflection on this end here. All right, and the well, the triangle essentially will be the same darkness, pretty much as the, as the cube. I need more pencil. There we go. All right, not bad. And that's how you make volume. All right, so the next step here is to draw. Use that volume. A way of drawing and apply it to anything you like. So just like a house for example, a house would start with a square just like this, the four sides, and then you want to draw a triangle for the rooftop just like this. There's our triangle shape. So then remember that each corner you need to, to build that volume, each corner needs a little uh, table leg. So from this corner and that corner and this corner you can draw little lines like table legs coming down. And then I need to remember to repeat that image right here uh, so that I get volume onto this side. And I have another table leg here, and then a table leg here. I'm always repeating that line on either side to make it a volume, just like that. Then what I want to do is add like house details. So for example, a door. Here's my door, my door frame here. I'm going to draw like a little handle. That's how people get in the house. And over here, what I want to do is add a little uh, window. Now, I'm not going to put too much detail on this, just a little bit, just so that you get an idea of how you can draw this really easily with volume. The chimney needs volume too, like over here, so everything is the same repeated. Let's add a little bit of shadowing here so that we can tell that the light comes from above. Oh, I forgot this line. I forget that here. This, this too has volume. A little bit of 3D shape to that. Add the little, uh, little roof line and a little bit of a detail to the front of the house, like that. Add a little uh, window frame. And you know, this, this house looks a little strange because it seems to be floating off the ground, you know, like, so I'm going to add some shadowing at the bottom too. So oh, pencil time and add, add a little bit more shadow here. And so you can see the underside of the house. That would never happen in real life, but this is your drawing. You can do whatever you want. 
This is your world. And add a little bit of a lighter shadowing there. And there you have it. I mean, you know what? All this combined, uh, this is 3D drawing. <laughs>